<laughs> let's do that quickly so very interesting i've not even thought about this before doing a linkedin logo um so i have that in my head now let's quickly action that out so we have this um html head uh, let's just go down to body by the way so you can you can skip that and just go straight to body so we're using table what we're using we're using table okay that's span span okay let's use mm, so we, we can use we have too many things we can use actually so let me use span right let me use span i'll use two span mm? the first one is going to if i'm trying to adjust this thing is is messing up okay let me just okay so let me use span right i want to use this two span here so the first you know that this span now if i do linked in it's going to be on the same line do you see it's on, it's on the same line but now it's allowing me is going to allow me to style it differently that's the good thing about it so if i now want to style this one now um, let me use css i want to really make my job easier because it's, it's with css then i've not shown you guys class before but let me just go ahead and do that so class is a way for me to tell you that this one i'll call it linked in hmm? is to to label an element class is used to label an element so i will call this one i'll call it in so i will come here and say linked linked and i'll come here and say in i don't want to put so much thing inside here this is the only thing i want to put now i want to start styling um let me start testing by saying color is blue and see if it's working okay it's working our color is blue so uh, let me see who did their color i don't know their color let's just use blue for sake of uh, not picking the proper color so blue then this one is um so this one has border so i will say um border okay background rather background 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 is blue okay so we're gonna have issue here i'm gonna explain why in let me just make sure that it's properly referenced color blue oh okay it's not styling so let's see what's going on okay i have three s's here do you see that do you see the arrow uh -huh. so so you have to be to be cautious of all these things okay so you can see that our blue has taken over that place so let's let's continue our styling um next thing you want to do is that you want to make the color white yeah okay now you want to provide um margin left i hope the guy will allow me to do that but i think so let's do padding padding 10. okay so that 10 is too much let's do 5. okay so let's compare so you can see it's just by small uh, by small so that is small letter i and let's do two okay so you can see that it's not an equal so up is very small so we have to indicate it one by one so left um five top should be one padding top one one px padding Right is not properly spelled. Padding. Okay, there's no semicolon here. Okay, 
so the top is still much so let's put zero for top and bottom zero okay so next thing we want to do is the round edges A LinkedIn logo right there. That's a LinkedIn. So to make it come closer like this, because it's far apart, um, you just do this. You bring it closer to it. And once you come here, now it's too close. Now to push it to a precise amount that you want, you push this LinkedIn instead. You push the link instead. You can push this one by padding instead of using its own natural push so you just come here and say padding padding right so you just use one px a little bit just push it a little bit so you can see it has gone front a little bit so the next thing is just to do the font just test out the font so even though it's going to be very difficult for us to find the font font family That's it. So you know the fonts will have different spacing and anything like that. So even this one, yeah, the space is too much here. This one is, this five is too much. So let's use three. So that's it. That's your LinkedIn logo. If, I, if you now want to use, let's use the exact color. Uh, all these things I've not shown you guys some all these things, so but it's good. I want to pick the color exact color so to pick the color is by doing like this i'll show you all the, these are the things we we'll have to see physically to show you how to pick color so instead of just specifying blue now i have the exact color so it's just the fonts now then yeah that's the exact color and i think it's bold then i do font weight yep i think we have it that's it that's your linkedin if you enjoyed this video kindly like share subscribe and turn on the bell notification to encourage us to make more content like this if you have any feedback for us kindly drop it in the comment section below see you in the next video thank you